Obed Bapela will hold a meeting with mayors in Limpopo about issues of service delivery. In the afternoon, he will then proceed to Vuani, where reports emerged yesterday of a strong police presence following accounts of residents launching a shutdown of the area because government had failed to implement a May 7 decision to put Vuane under the Bembe District Municipality. Our reporter, Lutendo Bobodi, is there. Uh, Lutendo, a very good morning to you. Uh, talk to us a little bit about what we can expect today, and I know you're joined by a guest as well. Well, yes, um, and uh, I'd like to apologize. There was a bit of turbulence in our line earlier on. And, and uh, talking about turbulence, well, just when we thought that uh, the dust had settled uh, in Vuani, we're seeing renewed protests now. Um, the bone of contention this time around uh, being um, claims that uh, the provincial government is unwilling to implement decision as taken by the president to incorporate Vuani uh, into um, a Bembe District Municipality. And uh, to answer that, I'm standing by with uh, Coxter MEC, um, uh, Makoma Makrubeja. Uh, uh, good morning, um, MEC. Um, uh, just tell us, uh, what are you doing to uh, make sure that um, uh, sanity is being restored in Vuani? The listeners will, will remember that indeed the president, President Jacob Zuma, was in Vuani on the 7th of May. And he engaged with stakeholders. We had resolutions on how government can provide service in the area of Vuani. We worked together with a number of stakeholders in the area and already we started providing services. As we speak, there's public works there providing the services. There is a Bembe District Municipality which is already providing the services. But indeed, the President and everybody agreed that as and when we provide these services, we must acknowledge and take into cognizance that in that area we've got a legal entity called the LIM 345 Municipality. There are areas where when we provide those services, we must make sure that we consult them and agree that we do everything within the confinement of the law. So on the first we had a meeting where we're discussing about the opening of the offices and who must be able to monitor those offices. Unfortunately the Pro Mercado could not make it to that meeting and unfortunately they agreed with the community on a shutdown which we did not expect it ourselves and indeed were very disappointed but anyway we, didn't, we don't lose hope we know that we can still engage them and finalize and deal with the matter within a short space of time. As we speak, yesterday the whole day we were engaging other stockholders to say how best can we manage the situation because we are very worried when kids are not going to school yesterday and they can't miss their own uh, trial exams. So today as we speak there's going to be a meeting at 12 o'clock in Vuani with the pro Mercado and the leaders of the province and say how do we finalize the issue or relating to the opening of the offices but as well take into cognizance the concerns that are raised by uh, LIM 345 municipality councillors and other stakeholders that are coming from uh, Malamulele area and Sanganan area because one of the sticky issues which is raised by the LIM 345 it's a when we provide this service as provincial government and uh, Bembe and everyone, we, firstly we need to ensure that we provide the services in all the 36 ward of this municipality, but as well we must clarify the role of councillors who reside in Vuani so that we don't have a situation where councillors are elected legally, but at the end of the day we've got a situation where they're not being able to play the role that are supposed to be playing in terms of the law. So as we speak, today's meeting I'm hopeful is going to find a solution that can be able to assist us to ensure that the, sh the shutdown is lifted. But the call and appeal that we're making is the reason why we even convene the, the prov provincial public participation dialogue is to make sure that we reach the gap of communication because even while government is doing a lot of work, it, the information of the work that we do in most cases that not reach the community at the right time so that the community understand what the government is doing. So our worry is there is a miscommunication between government and Pro Mercado and the senior traditional leaders of Vuani, but we are saying we will make sure that we meet and finalize what was supposed to be finalizing. I am hopeful that today's meeting at 12 will find a solution to that matter. And we, we, we will want to commit ourselves as government 
that will never want to see shutdown in Vuan anymore. So whatever solution we'll be finding from today, we must come up with proper plans and agree with all stakeholders around the area that it can't be that every time when we've got a difference, then a shutdown is called because the people who get punished in the whole thing, it's learners and we're worried that the future of this South Africa, the future of the country, the future of people of Vuan resides within the hands of the learners of that area. Thank you, Amy Sofieta. Thank you. All right. And we'll be keeping tabs on the situation in Fuani and stay tuned to SABC News because uh, we'll give you updates as the story unfolds. All right, uh, we will, as you heard, uh, cross back there. So thanks very, very much for that. Now, let's.